One day, the fat controller bought a new engine to replace Percy. Percy had been missing for a long time since two days ago. All right, said the fat controller. What's your name new engine? The new engine tries to speak properly. I, I, I don't. Um, I don't know sir. What do you mean you don't know? Asked the fat controller. I actually, um, I don't know my name at all, sir. Replied the new engine. Nobody gave me a name at the mainland. Oh that's how it is huh? Said the fat controller. Then I'll call you. Um. Number 79 for a while. In the afternoon the new engine work hard all day in the shunting yard, pushing and pulling trucks. He met Gordon and James there. The new engine was so nervous, he didn't know what to say to them so he just kept quiet as he passed two engine. The two engine look at the new engine. And the new engine starring at the two engine. What are you looking at? Said Gordon to the new engine. The new engine became more nervous. He didn't answer Gordon's question. Hey didn't you hear what Gordon said? Yelled James. The new engine was scared and didn't know what to say. He accelerated his speed and tired to avoid the two engine. You moron. Yelled James again. Where do you think you're going? Grumbled Gordon. That night, the new engine was sleeping at the Tidmouth shed. He was so tired. At the shed, he met the same engine from the shunting yard. Hey you why didn't you answer us this afternoon and ran away from us? Said James. Speak now. Hey didn't you hear what he said? Yelled Gordon. That's it you too. Said Edward. You scared him. Who cares? Said Gordon again. He makes me so annoyed. Then a workman came to look at the new engine. Hello there. Called the workman. Since Percy isn't here I need you to deliver his mail train right now. His fireman lit the stove and the new engine immediately went to look for the mail train. Edward hoped the new engine would be back early. He had something to talk about. In the early morning, Edward was looking for the new engine. The new engine was sleeping next to the big station. He didn't want to go back to shed because he didn't want to meet Gordon and James again. There you are. Said Edward. Why didn't you come back to the shed last night? Just tell me your problem and maybe I can help you. The new engine tried to speak quietly to Edward. He telling to Edward everything what happened back in the shunting yard. I understand. Said Edward. Now listen to me. If Gordon, James and Henry are making fun of you, you just have to ignore them. I still remember when I first met them. They always thought I was too old to pull passengers back then. But it was so hard for the new engine to ignore them. James and Henry kept talking about the new engine. I'm not sure that the engine will pulling passengers someday. Said James. I think you're right James. Said Henry. He's too small to pull the coaches. Ha, huh, I'm pretty sure I'll be carrying passengers one day. Whispered the new engine. The diesel engine heard the conversation between the three of them. So you want to carry passengers ha? Huh? He said with oily voice. I have an idea that you can take passengers and show them that you can do it. Then Diesel told the new engine about how he could carry passengers. Well, um, I'm not really sure about that. Said the new engine. So you don't believe me huh? Said Diesel. No no it's just. Um, I will do what you say Diesel. He said with nervously. The next morning, the new engine just arrived at the shunting yard very early. He saw a shiny express coaches in front of him. He made sure no one saw him. This is my change. He said. The new engine immediately coupled up to the coaches, and went to take the heavy coaches to the station. He did not realize that Thomas was behind the express coaches. Help! 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 Cried Thomas. Someone pull this express. Someone pull this express. The new engine kept struggling. He didn't realize there was another engine behind the coaches. Meanwhile at the big station, Gordon has been waiting for hours for Thomas to arrive with the express. Now I'm definitely going to be late. Said Gordon. Where's Thomas with my coaches? Then Gordon saw the new engine, he was very surprised and also very angry. Are you? Is that my coaches? Yelled Gordon. Come back here you, give me back my coaches. The new engine just pretended that he didn't hear anything. He kept going, and forgot to stop at the platform to pick up his passengers. The new engine immediately left the big station with his empty express coaches.
The new engine just felt so happy during the journey. Then he saw Edward sitting at Wellsworth Station, he stopped to greet Edward. Hello Edward. Called the new engine. Edward was surprised to see him. What are you doing here buddy? Ask Edward. I'm pulling and carrying passenger. Replied the new engine. Can't you see? The station master walked over and checked the express coaches. I didn't see any people in that coaches. Said the station master. What do you mean sir? Asked the new engine. And then he remembered something. Oh. No. He cried. I forgot to stop and pick up the passenger. You'd better get back there quickly, before the fat controller finds out about it, said Edward with worried. But it was too late. The station master told the fat controller what had just happened when the new engine returned to the big station at the same time. The fat controller was so upset, and so were all the passengers. Number 79, called the fat controller. What do you think you're doing? The new engine was sweating like a boiling water kettle. He trying to explain what he had just done to Gordon's coaches. You're still not ready to carry passengers, said the fat controller. And why is Thomas in the back of that coaches too? Thomas, said the new engine with confuse. But sir I didn't know that Thomas was behind my coaches. That's not even your coaches, grumbled the fat controller. Now I want you to go back to your shed, and basically I don't want this to happen again. I'm, I'm, ah, uh, sorry, Gordon, he said with a frown face. But Gordon didn't want to forgive him and neither did Thomas, who was very tired. Poor new engine, he knew it wasn't his fault, he just did what that diesel engine said to him.